Brian, when you hit the quarterback, it was like watching that scene from Doctor Strange where he would punch the soul out of somebody's body. Where did all that anger come from? And, you know, when I, I think today, to this day, when Nick Fitzgerald or Austin Allen hear their, your name, they pee a little bit because that fear is still there. So where did that <laughs> anger come from, bro? Parking that tight ass hat he got on. Now go ahead. I don't really feel like I was angry. You know what I mean? I just, I just always felt like it was just a certain way to play the game. You know what I mean? And that's, that's how I always played it. I think him and High Town, y'all never smile. I remember when the national championship was was uh, presented to y'all. Everybody was smiling. You were looking like I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, that's how you were looking. And I don't give a damn. I want to hear somebody. I've been there a few times, man. I've been there a few times. What you say? Yeah, but that was the first one. That was the first one. What you say? You say he was raised like one of them pit bulls. They just fed him steak with hot sauce on it the whole life. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, 2015 versus George, the whole nation wrote us off because we previously lost to Ole Miss again. What kind of ship did y'all have on your shoulders? Yeah. And that led to that dismantling of the Bulldogs. That 15 team, man, was we had a special bunch that year, dog. We had, a, we had. I think we lost the Ole Miss back to back. Yeah, back to back years. You know, they had poor, had poor that shit off again down there. So it was just, I mean, Trey know how it go. It was just one of the things, you know, when you feel like you miss out on the opportunity, you got the, the group of guys that we usually have. It was just like we we just put it in overdrive. Then you know what I mean. We, we good, that was our mulligan. We couldn't we couldn't afford another one, so we was fighting every week for for a chance. So that's they were just the first. It was the first team up. It didn't seem like y'all were fighting me. It seemed like y'all were just beating up on everybody. That wasn't no fighting. That was a that was a beat I, down. Everybody y'all played. I, everybody. I just remember it was raining that day against Georgia, and somebody had some. I think Georgia whole team that came out. Somebody had said something to Eddie Jackson. It was Bojack was about to go off on somebody. Bojack. Oh, yeah, it was a. It was one of them games. You know what I mean? You, you, and that, that kind of had a lot to do with it too. They they, you, they did all that shit before the game. That just made it ten times worse. Yeah, you know. How I'm that still goes. mad though that that Chubb ran that long run in the fourth quarter to get over hundred, and then them Georgia fan want like he damn did something. <laughs> Yeah, hey, man, he was Reg, just... get Reggie on the show next time. He, he can tell you about that. <laughs> yeah. oh, hey, tell us what happened on that play and how Chubb broke that long run, so he ended up with over 100 yards rushing. I, I, it had to be Reggie's fault. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like most most of the stuff like that happened was on was Reggie's fault. <laughs> he, he was he, he he the quarterback of the defense, so that's just how it go. Yeah, no, right, right. So all like all era so the raglan. Like the raglan fault. Always. Anything. He the quarterback of the defense. You and Tim were called the Bash Brothers, and quite honestly, we hadn't seen any combo like you guys since really John Copeland and Eric Curry and that 92 National Championship team. You know, week after week, it basically was meet me at the quarterback. What was that competition like between the both of you guys? I, I, it was fun. It was fun. You know, that was that was some of the most fun I had playing football. Not even with just, you know, me and Tim, you know, it was we had some great guys inside that, that freed us up like that, you know what I mean? So that's that's what that's the reason we had so many one on ones. We just had to go out there and win them, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it was fun though. It was real. You miss fun. them days, don't you? Yeah, it was fun. It, it go by so fast, man, and when you Absolutely. Look back. did it ever get so intense in practice that like fights broke out or whatever because every football team absolutely, I, was on, absolutely. I lost absolutely. <laughs> man, you was absolutely. on the damn prison football team what you thought about <laughs> y'all playing in the wreck y'all to the county jail with yeah. the murderers and I, robbers hey hey <laughs> so, so, I, hey so, so could, 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 can you tell us uh about probably one of the most memorable fights that you've seen you don't have to name that oh that's a good question uh, oh, like I say, we. Trey, we Trey, looking up like, yeah, I was involved. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> or he lost. The year, the, year, the year, like we had all of it. That was the year Trey left. Like it was, it wasn't as bad like that when we had them in the locker room. It was like that was a different bunch. You know what I mean? So it was like them dudes was like they, they, they was way more responsible. They ain't let a lot of stuff like that happen. You know what I mean? 
Right. So Trey, you left, and they, they act like they had no just, sense. Uh, that's that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, that group, that group of fifteen, like it was just gorillas everywhere. Like you couldn't stop it. It was just. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's oh, how said you don't win with before, nice like. guys. I have a question for you though, Ryan. You know, playing playing linebacker at Alabama, it comes with a set of unspoken rules and requirements that most people will never understand. When you go back and you look at the histories, the the Derek Thomases, the Canadian Bennett's, and all these guys who came before us, and it's always been known as a staple of Alabama football, playing linebacker, being that dude. Who was your most favorite if you had one Alabama linebacker and what do you think was the most defining part of your game that made you you? There was so many good linebackers there. You know what I mean? In that culture. But the guy that like the reason I went there was like Courtney Upshaw. Like I used mm. to watch him like play out like outside playing games and like he would just dominate out there. You know what I mean? But you mm -hmm. Ty was good, like Rolando was good, but I wanted to go there to be like Upshaw. Like that's what I that's the role I wanted to play in that defense. Uh, Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Courtney, that's my guy, man. Hey, that's my guy. Yeah, definitely. But it was, like I say, it was so many dogs. Trey, like him, even guys that a lot of people ain't really get to see play much. Like it was, it's like a lot of dogs play linebacker there. So, so what was the most defining part of your game? What was that dominating thing that made you excel? opposed to everybody else because you know everybody know when they go on that field they know that one two they got in that toolbox that ain't nobody gonna stop them when they pull it out yeah i, I would have to say it was just like my my mentality like i just i just i wasn't gonna let you beat me like the run game i wanted to punish you punish blockers like i just wanted to be i always wanted to be like making contact with anything and anybody so that's just how i felt i feel like whoever was over there wasn't gonna take it as far as i would